I want to lead us in prayers right now having us just pray that prayer with our team together so that we can see Holy Spirit revive that in our hearts if we can put the first prayer point Father God I confess and repent of my lack of desire for prayer if you're that person today who may be like Vashti you're too busy or maybe you have too many problems or maybe you've been disappointed with prayer you're like what's the point I prayed nothing happened have you prayed like I talked about it today or have you prayed just kind of getting off your problems I want you to right now repent and say Lord God I repent for any zeal that I've lost I repent that I lost my passion to be with you I repent of that God I know that I am your child and I know that I'm your wife and I am your kid I repent for that in Jesus mighty name let's just place your hand on your heart right now let's just offer that repentance to God right now I want you to say this with me say Father God I confess and repent of my lack of desire to live a life of prayer in Jesus mighty name wash me with your blood my passion for intimacy in Jesus name let's pray church yes father we begin to ask that you begin to forgive us that you begin to wash us with your precious blood that you begin to cleanse us for the lack and desire to spend time with you to be in prayer and intimacy with you father we ask you that you're going to rejuvenate that you're going to revive our hearts father to be able to be a people who father have intimate with you have prayer have that relationship with you we ask you that you're going to begin to wash us that you begin to forgive for our lack for that desire of not wanting to spend time with you with the god of universe with our father our creator who made us who fashioned us father we ask you rejuvenate revive us that we begin to be the people who want to be to talk with you to spend time with you we know that prayer sometimes seems like it's a, it's, it's a drag lord but we know that you're going to give us that passion and desire to pray and to spend that time with you father god we ask you we begin to repent for that we begin to ask us to wash us in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name Right now we're going to continue to pray. We're going to ask the Holy Spirit to fill us with the spirit of prayer and supplication. That His Spirit will lead us to pray. That not only, yes, we do have a part to play to step out, whether we feel it or not. And to come and spend time with the King, spend time with our Father, spend time with our Bridegroom. But also the Holy Spirit can guide us into prayer. He can all us, He can, he can give us the utterances to pray to please the Father. So right now with this prayer point, if we can pray, repeat after me, say, Oh Holy Spirit, fill me with the spirit of supplication and grace. Say, oh Holy Spirit, fill me with the spirit of supplication and grace. Right now begin to pray this prayer point over your life. Begin to invite the Holy Spirit. Begin to ask Him. Say, oh Holy Spirit, fill me with the spirit of supplication, spirit of grace. Lord, draw me to pray. Holy Spirit, draw me near to my King, to my to my bridegroom give me the desires to pray give me the utterances to pray oh holy spirit open my heart lord draw me near in jesus mighty name yes lord jesus together as a church we draw nearer to you god that you oh holy spirit will draw closer to us god give us that spirit god of prayer of supplication god open the mighty windows of grace upon our lives lord let us have an intimacy with you god that we carry the burdens and the compassion within our hearts to intercede for those who you have desired for us to pray for god i not only pray for our families in the city and my own life my relationship with you god but i pray for the fire god right now that you will give me the grace that is needed lord that i will begin to intercede with the cries of my heart lord with the burdens of my soul for the church and for the kingdom of heaven god continue to fill me in your spirit pray with me i need you holy spirit give me the utterance for my words lord give me the love that's in my heart that i may draw forth in my tongue that i raise them up to the father and pray for those who yes, need the yes, prayer lord. in Come jesus on, I want you name to know everybody from the back especially everybody from the back i want to just raise your hands to tell the god focus on jesus don't let nothing distract you don't let the palace don't let nothing distract you reconnect with jesus right now Reconnect, reconnect with somebody who loves you unconditionally right now. I want to know you more Tell Jesus your desire, your goal for today. Come on. Reveal yourself yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. to me.
touch our prayer life, Lord. Help us to go deeper. In your presence, amen, guys. In your presence, things change. Lord, it's your presence that I seek. Your Holy Spirit inside of me. Oh, take control. the declaration I am yours forever I am yours. Yes, tell Jesus that I belong to you Jesus come on I am yours forever. you don't belong to your problem you don't belong to your situation you don't belong to your sickness or your disease you belong to Jesus Christ you've been purchased by his blood he loves you unconditionally yes Lord you are mine. Sing, you are mine. And you are mine. that Jesus rebuked for losing their passion or their love for God at the end Jesus finished saying he who overcomes I will give this I will give that I will get which means prayerlessness is a bondage passivity is a spirit if you have to overcome your first love for Jesus loss of that that means there's a bondage who is behind that ask Daniel and Daniel will tell you there is an enemy in the courts and high places that plans to stop prayer and you got to have the Daniel spirit who says whatever the enemy throws my way I'm gonna keep praying and if something I'll go to the lion's den and God will give Daniel lions to have Daniel's fast <laughs> but they won't eat him come on somebody I want us right now to rise up as a church together there are people in this room today you are bound with the spirit of prayerlessness you can't pray if your life would depend on it you can literally bench on Netflix for days but when it comes to prayer you're just falling asleep falling asleep have no desire whatsoever and it's a bondage and Bible says he who overcomes meaning you got a war and right now we are going to dethrone every spirit of prayerlessness we're going to break that bondage that spirit that maybe just literally pulls you back that spirit can live in your blankets but mainly it sits in our spirits if you can put up the third prayer point in the name of Jesus I shut every demonic door that has been opened to hinder my prayer life I want you to right now begin to overcome every bondage of prayerlessness bondage of laziness bondage of passivity bondage that hinders your prayer life bondage that takes you away from the Word of God it is not the Holy Spirit that does that it is the devil and today you have a power over him in Jesus mighty name I want you to say in Jesus name I shut every door that has been opened to hinder my prayer life say right now I take my authority against every bondage of prayerlessness every spirit 
of passivity every chain of complacency I break you down over my life in Jesus name come on right now I want you to open up your lips begin to break spirit of passivity it is a demonic spirit begin to break the bondage of prayerlessness because it is demonic the devil doesn't want you to pray the devil wants you to constantly live in spiritual slumber begin to break that right now say I break spiritual slumber I break spirit of prayerlessness I break the bondage of complacency I break that over my life in Jesus mighty yes, name we come against every demonic door we come against every demonic spirit in the name of Jesus and we break its power we begin to break its influence we break every hindrance of prayer in our lives and we begin to pull it down in Jesus mighty name we close every door to laziness to passivity to be to withdraw in the name of Jesus so we break its grip we remove its power we break its influence over our lives over our spirit over our prayer life in Jesus mighty name and we cast you out we shut the door to devil in its influence to our prayer life to our relationship with God in the name of Jesus and we break your grip we break your stronghold and we proclaim that we're gonna be the people that are gonna pray that we're gonna spend time in the name of Jesus and we're gonna overcome we're gonna defeat you Satan in Jesus name it, yes Lord you know when Lazarus was raised from the dead the Bible says he walked out from the tomb bound hand and feet and I see some of you today that's exactly your place you are saved you came out of the cave of your past but Satan bounds you with that prayerlessness with that passivity but today is the day where you're gonna lose yourself you're gonna lose yourself from that bondage I want you to say this with me say I am saved Jesus is my Savior say right now I lose myself from every bondage of prayerlessness every bondage of passivity I lose myself say you devil I'm against you you cannot hold me down in Jesus name Come on right now, lift your hands right now to God. Begin to say, God, fill me with the spirit of prayer. Fill me with the spirit of prayer. Fill me with the fire of God. Fill me with the zeal for Jesus Christ. Help me to live my life burning for God. Help me not to live my life discouraged. Help me not to live my life burned out, God. I'll rather rust out than die out, God. I want to live for you, Jesus. Fill me with your spirit right now, God. Go, yes, God. Yes, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. Fill us with your spirit of prayer right now. Fill us with the spirit of prayer. Come on, church. Ask him for that right now. Ask him for that right now. Hi there. If you're like me and you like to click on things, go ahead and click right here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In this way, we'll be able to send the content to you directly. And each week you'll stay updated with the things that we post. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.